court just handed down this game-changing win for voter ID laws by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. A uh, big win for voter ID. It seems uh, rare lately for the courts to support conservatives, but this win here was a big one. A Texas voter ID law uh, that has been blocked twice can stay in effect for the 2018 election. This is a huge win for conservatives in America. From Fox News, Texas voter ID law was, that was twice blocked over findings of discrimination can stay in effect for the 2018 elections, a U.S. appeals court ruled Friday. It was the second major ruling over voting rights in the U.S. this week after an Arkansas judge on Thursday blocked the state's voter ID measure as unconstitutional. But in a two-to-one decision by the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans, the Texas law that critics have uh, slammed as one of the toughest voter ID measures in the nation was seen as a suitable replacement for the original 2011 law that a federal judge had likened to a poll tax on minority voters. The biggest change to the Texas law which accepts handgun licenses are sufficient identification to vote but not college student IDs is that voters without any acceptable photo ID can still cast a ballot so long as they can sign an affidavit Opponents and a federal judge in Texas balked at the revision saying criminal penalties tied to lying on the affidavit could have a chilling effect on voters. U.S. Circuit uh, Jones Edith uh, Jones said the uh, lower court went too far. The district court law, uh, relied uh, too heavily on evidence of Texas uh, state-sponsored discrimination from a bygone era, Jones wrote in her majority opinion. The revision to Texas's law were all supported by the U.S. Justice Department, a move that amounted to a complete reversal for the federal government, which is under which under former President Barack Obama had joined minority rights groups in suing over the law. But two, uh, two months after Donald Trump took office, the Justice Department abandoned the argument that Texas passed uh, voter ID rules with discrimination in mind and said the changes should satisfy the courts. Opponents bristled at the ruling but didn't immediately indicate their next step. We continue to firmly believe that the Texas photo ID law is one of the most discriminatory and restrictive measures of its kind, said Kristen Clark, president of the Washington-based Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights under law, one of the groups involved in the lawsuit. Texas first passed the voter ID law in 2011, the same year the GOP-controlled legislature adopted uh, voting maps and were also struck down as discriminatory. The Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton said Friday's ruling removes any burden on voters who cannot obtain a photo ID. The law was twice shot down by U.S. District Judge Nelva Gonzalez Ramos, an appointee of then-President George W. Bush, who ruled that the strict requirements disadvantaged minorities and effectively dampened the electoral power of Texas's surging Hispanic population. She also disapproved of the modified version, which makes knowingly lying on the affidavit to vote a misdemeanor. Democrats said that a uh, provision could keep people home on election day over fears of incorrectly filling out a form. Republicans call those concerns unfounded, but have also supported aggressive action against voter fraud, which is rare. Earlier this year, a Texas woman was sentenced to five years in prison for voting in the 2016 presidential election when she was ineligible because she was on probation. 
34 states have laws requiring or requesting that voters show some form of identification at the polls, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. Arkansas's newly blocked law would have required officials uh, to provide photo identification to voters free of charge if they didn't have any other photo ID. It also would have let voters without ID to cast provisional ballots by signing affidavits. Pulaski County Circuit Judge Alice Gray, however, ruled there was no guarantee those provisional ballots would be counted and that they would uh, face greater scrutiny. Well, uh, the Democrats don't want voter ID because they want their illegals voting and they want their constituents uh, going to other counties and uh, voting again, voting two, three, and who knows how many times. So that's the only way they're going to win the election, and that's why they're so opposed to voter ID. But too bad for them. There's a new sheriff in town, and people are waking up to this garbage let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.